Is Masters of Sustainability in Architecture a good option for you or you should consider something else? This is a question a lot of you have been asking me from past few weeks. I don't know how but at least four or five of you have commented about this specific question. I don't know where this sustainability masters is coming from but uh, this video is about that why you should select or you shouldn't select masters of sustainability what is my personal experience I have personally taken green architecture and studied green architecture here in Canada and I have also taken lead certificate so I know that uh, what is the current scenario of sustainability here and probably in USA and around the world. So this video is about that specific topic and I will also cover like if not sustainability then what should you go for? What are the things that are more trending and what is going on in the world of architecture and construction right now? So without any delays guys let's get started with the video. So guys, first thing first, is Masters of Sustainability a good choice for you right now or not? So my answer is no, absolutely not. Because guys, from my personal experience, I'm sharing this with you. And there are a lot of my friends who have done similar Masters in Sustainability. I have done a certification course in Green Architecture from Algonquin College. I have made a lot of videos about that course as well. So. I have my own experience in sustainability and especially in Canada. So that's why I'm saying that sustainability, masters in sustainability is not a great option to do over here in Canada. Canada is very or highly inclined towards sustainability, but what is happening right now is they are not hiring, the companies are not hiring a person who has sustainability or masters of sustainability or something. People want students or newcomers to have skills in design, in technical drawings, in working drawings. So that's what they are hiring for. The people who have also gotten job that are somewhat sustainability related are also working in under the title of architecture designer not as a sustainability consultant or a sustainable uh, architecture or something like that. So the title remains the same as architecture designer, architecture technologist, architecture technician, all of these things. I applied, uh, I think so for around 100 firms that are dealing with sustainability here in Canada, but they were not hiring. They are not hiring specifically a person who has done masters in sustainability the max they will ask you is that you should have a lead ap or ga certification or some other well certification or something like that there is a very less demand in market for sustainability that's why i am saying no to that another reason that sustainability is not a great option for now at least for now at least for few years or coming years because of the current global scenario canada is under pressure right now canada the job market is very very bad uh, the construction market is crashing so all of these things are coming together and creating a scenario where sustainability falls last when the scenarios are tough when the situations are tough uh, the first thing people uh, put aside is sustainability, which it shouldn't be. I, I personally, I love sustainability. I love energy calculation. I love designing sustainable structures. I love passive house design. But guys, this is not what will give you a job or money or success in life. If you have a plan that, okay, you want to do masters in sustainability and then start your own practice and you will implement those things in your own design, then the scenario is absolutely different. Then definitely go for sustainable design or any, any masters that you want to do. But for people like us who are coming from a middle class background, our first ambition or first aim is to earn money. If you are going abroad, if you are coming to Canada here to do masters, your first aim will be to pay off your loans, your debts. So these things become very crucial for us. Sustainability, design, passion, all of these things fall second, guys. 
I am a very passionate person and I am saying this because that's the truth and it has always been like that. So make your mind, think about it and then take your decision, okay? Uh, now I have given you the overview what is happening in Canada, the job market, the construction market, all of these things are shrinking and around the world as well like every country, every country including US you will see that the types of governments are coming and the type of economies they are projecting is not sustainable at all. So the global trend is also changing. You might have seen it past COVID the global trend has changed a lot. I thought that sustainability would be a good thing for me because that's why I did that course, but it wasn't. Now coming to part two, if not sustainability, then what should you do? So guys, see, whenever, whenever the world is going from a tough situation, economies are going through a tough situation, you should always focus on like skilled jobs skilled jobs as in like in architecture what is skilled is basically all the technical aspect of architecture for example you can get your masters into advanced architecture you can get your masters into parametric architecture computational design you can learn uh, how to make plugins you can learn how to do computational programming for in dynamo or in grasshopper or something like that these kind of niche skills will help you because a lot of firms are trying to have automation a lot of firms are trying to have ai integrated into their system why are they doing that they are doing that to reduce the number of people that they need to do a certain task and why do they need to reduce the number because the profit margins are shrinking they are trying to find alternatives however they can produce more work gain more money and use less people. So these are the hard skills that you can focus on. Another skill is basically learning BIM, being mastery in BIM. These things will help you to understand architecture to the core, understand softwares to the core and also help you get a job faster. Because guys, see, uh, design is something that everyone loves, especially architects, okay? So most of them are rushing towards that area i also love design personally but unfortunately in past two years or something i haven't designed anything so you can understand my frustration but i'm still sticking to it because that is what is giving me money and this is the knowledge that i wanted to share with you guys and that's why i have made this video specifically because i know the people who are asking me about sustainability are very passionate people you guys care about nature you guys care about architecture and that's how architecture should be it shouldn't be destructive it should be a constructive process where you can integrate nature into your buildings of course i do support your decision but guys unfortunately it's not the right decision at current moment if you are a technical person i would say go for technical courses technical courses or even just masters of architecture that is also fine don't specialize specifically in sustainability or something because after studying something uh, you want to implement it and when you don't get to implement that what you have studied it's a different kind of frustration altogether so that's why i'm saying this so i hope i was able to help you i was able to guide you regarding this matter and if I did, please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel. And still guys, if you have any kinds of doubts, please go ahead, mention it in the comment section. I will be happy to solve them. And guys, again, uh, keep supporting the channel. I am sharing all my experience, all my knowledge that I'm gaining by falling, by running in this race is because I want to guide people, I want to guide the younger generation of architects who don't have a proper guidance. I didn't have that. So I want to guide you all by my experience, nothing else. I'm not making anything up over here. So yeah, guys, keep supporting. Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.